All right. I really don't want to make this video because I don't like talking about negative things. And um, this is pretty bad experience. But, you know, since I'm making these videos talking about my experience doing cons, you know, I figured I got to I got to do this. Let's talk about it. We shed a tear together. So we went down to a convention called Hero Hype. It was in Orlando. And uh, the reason why, the main reason why I went is because we wanted to take a little vacation with the kids. My sister has a house down there, not too far from where this convention was. So, and they weren't going to be there. Her and her family weren't going to be there. So we were going to have the whole house and they have a pool. My kids love to swim. It's like, okay, let's just do this. The people that run this convention, they do things all over Florida, as far as I can tell. It's Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Tampa, and Orlando. And it's always called, it's called Hero Hype. Um, so this was in a hotel. It was right across the street from Universal Studios. Uh, the table cost me $130. So I wouldn't have paid for this table since it was $130 if it wasn't really just for, just as an excuse for us to take a vacation. $130 I think is way too much. And I knew this was going to be in a hotel and when it's ever in it's a hotel, it's going to be, you know, a small room. There's probably not going to be as many people, all that kind of stuff just like what we had in Nashville. Well, it turns out this is way worse than Nashville. So we drove down there. My son has this uh, Pikachu he made from Build-A-Bear. And I just thought it was funny, stick his head up in there. We drove it, driving down I-95 with Pikachu sticking his head out of the sunroof. Um, so here's the table. Uh, it was really weird because the table, I had never seen a table this size before. It was like, I think eight feet tall. I mean, eight feet wide. And, uh, but it was only like a little more than a foot deep. So if I click there, you see, all I had was enough space to put this cage up. There was not enough room in the front to put anything. So usually you see I put the two binders here in the front. So this is all the stuff for Neotheric because Neotheric, the binder would be in front of that. And then 6-8, the binder is there. They don't have my daughter's stuff right here. And then we have the stickers and uh, something else I can't remember in front. But you see that there's, no, <laughs> there's a tiny little table, so I didn't have no room for that. And uh, so what I did is I put these stickers on the side here just to have somewhere to put them. And then my daughter's stuff is kind of pushed in the in the back there. And we sort of had enough space for these binders here in the front. And uh, I had just gotten these, the 6-8, this Rocketo Man, and this from Epic of Darkness, 11 by 17 posters from Comics Wellspring the night before we left. We left on the 15th. I got these from Comics Wellspring on the 14th. And it took like four weeks to get these. But usually, oh, you know, when you submit the, the artwork to print something and you ask for a digital proof, they'll send you the an email like within a, a day or two. Uh, but this time it took them almost two weeks and then I finally got it, and then I told the lady, I says, I, I, this is the first time I've heard from you guys. I says, I'm sorry, it must have gotten lost or something, whatever. So uh, it took a lot longer to get these posters than it had previously. But anyway, luckily, well, I guess it didn't matter whether it was lucky or not. But I thought it was lucky that I got them the day before we were going to leave. So I put them all together, put it out. Also, I got the... Um, I stayed up the night before and I printed up some more of this, uh, the Epic of Darkness ash cans because I had just gotten this artwork 
from Brian. That's going to be the actual cover of the book. Before, I was using some other artwork that he had given me, but that wasn't going to be the cover. It was just something to put on there. But that's the actual cover. Um, not the finished version of it because I changed it a little bit. But um, so that was on it. So I printed up a bunch of those the night before. Then we headed down. We uh, stopped at my parents for one night. Then we went to, to Orlando the next morning to stay there, to get there. So we got there on Thursday afternoon. And then my kids got to swim in the pool for uh, on Friday. Then the next morning we got up on early on Saturday. My sister had told me that the hotel was like five minutes from her house, but it ended up being, it's like 21 miles. So uh, it wasn't five minutes. It was maybe about 30 minutes or 45 minutes to get there. And that was in the morning, early Saturday morning when there's no traffic. Um, so it wasn't quite as close to what she thought it was. Um, so we got there. We had this, uh, the good thing is we had this little corner space here. So there was nobody really on this side. This guy over here was selling like Funkos and Pokemon and different toys and things like that. And uh, I think he said the lady next to him was actually his wife. And then they also have a teenage son or uh, maybe he's in his 20s. And he also had stuff. I don't know what he was selling. I didn't see it because it was like laying flat. Uh, but the three of them were in that corner right there. And I talked to that guy and I talked to the guy next to us about stuff later. But um, so we had this, I guess this little fire door or something behind us and the windows and right outside the windows was the swimming pool to the ho hotel. Um, so this is how I set it up. I have the um, these 11 by 17 posters now. And uh the reason why these are hanging straight down is because what I do is I'm going to get to see it. You see right here, I have like these uh, little bungee cords. So on the back of these top loaders, I have this uh, hook that's stuck on to the back of the top loader. And then I use that bungee cord to hook onto it and pull it back a little bit. That way um, it doesn't hang down so far. And then I could still put another 11 by 17 here. So the idea is, you know, to have enough stuff stacked in this column to have some room to show different things like the 11 by 17s or these eight by tens. Um, so because it was a bigger table, so I can add another column in the middle and spread the whole cage out and have a little more space here. Like when I'm standing there and talking to people. So that was good that it was a bigger table that way. It was just weird that it's so narrow like this. I've never seen a table like this in my life. I don't know who uses this kind of a table for something. There was like nobody there at this show. Um, let me just go real quick. You see, it's a pretty small room. This, I think it's basically the same thing as what we had in Nashville. Same kind of, I think it's even the same hotel as the Hilton, um, but the same um, kind of square footage about the same amount of vendors in the area or in the room. Uh, and this is about how it looked the entire day. The only people there were the vendors. There's hardly anybody showed up to this thing. And, you know, what you saw, just like in Nashville, the few people that I saw were just there the whole day, just milling around the whole day. So you see the same people over and over again. Um, and when I, I had gone outside out here and the bathrooms were back out here to take my son to the bathroom, I saw the, um, the little sign they have on the table where people would check in and buy t tickets and stuff to go in. And they were charging people $15 to get into the show, the small little show. And they were charging the same thing for kids. It's like, who does that? Why would you charge a kid $15 to come in this little thing? I mean, by the time you get in there, you got no money left to spend on anything. So I don't understand this 
thing with these um, organizers where they charge so much money just to get in the door. I mean, the whole idea really is to get uh, people in and then spend the money on the different things in the convention. So if I ever come across these people again for something else, uh, I'm not going to bother with them. The one thing is they did provide us with this uh, tablecloth. I don't know why, but the, all the tablecloths were there on the table when we got there. So, in the end, I sold one sticker. And I gave away one copy of each of the ash cans to a guy right at the end of the show. That's it. There were so few people there, I couldn't even give away stuff. You know, it's like when there's not enough people that you can't even give stuff away. I mean, that's really bad. But I did talk to um, the guy over in the corner over here that I mentioned before. Let's see. If you can see. Maybe you can see him in this. No, this guy over here, he was on this side of us. He said that he had done a lot of shows with the same organizers, like in Miami and stuff. And he said that they had never had this bad of an experience at a show with these people before. And uh, and he agreed that this was... Uh, everybody that I talked to, this guy and the other guy on the other side, they said this was really bad. They'd never seen anything this bad. So I don't know what the deal was. Maybe it was me. I jinxed the whole thing. But at least I, I did get one thing, or two things. I added to my uh, minifig collection... I got this Mazinger, and I got uh, Silver Surfer. This is the first time that I've ever seen these two at a show. So, they'll go up on the shelves with the other guys. Uh, so, I went all the way down to Florida, paid 130 bucks. Uh, what is that, like 100 40 bucks because my son got one too. We got three for 10. 140 bucks for three minifigs. That's a great deal. So the next show is going to be in Hickory on July 9th. This is a different organizer, a different location. Uh, I'm not sure about this one either, but at least this one, the table was only 40 bucks. Um, and I need to figure out, I need to try to find out what size the table is before I go. At least so I can kind of prepare a little bit. Um, yeah. So we'll see you then. Maybe we'll see you in Hickory. If not, we'll see you here on YouTube talking about Hickory. Peace.